The United Kingdom has now signed a trade pact with 11 Asia-Pacific nations. The move comes three years after Brexit. Moreover, the global pandemic has also left the nation's economy in a bit of a free fall. The United Kingdom is hopeful that this pact will try and boost the British economy in the long term. The United Kingdom has also decided to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, or what is known as the CPTPP. Now, this is a trade agreement between 11 progressive Asia-Pacific economies that will give the island nation access to a shared market of over 500 million people. The member nations of the trade agreement cumulatively generate nearly about 13% of the world's income. Founded back in 2018, the United Kingdom's entry marks a milestone for this pact. Not only will the United Kingdom be the first non-founder nation to join it, but also will be the second largest economy after Japan, increasing the trade value of the group to 11 trillion euros. The United Kingdom has already got a deal with the majority of the nations in the pact barring Malaysia and Brunei. What truly separates the pact from the EU is that no nation is forced to adopt identical trade regulations. That also could be a weakness of this pact. The agreement, however, may be a net detriment for the nation as compared to its gains during the EU membership. The pact will, of course, grow the United Kingdom's economy by about 0.08% over the course of a decade, while leaving the EU cost the island nation or 4% of its net income. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.